Hi, today you're going to take your quiz, the makeup quiz that we already took on Tuesday, you're going to take right now. Please feel free to pause the video if I'm going too fast and listen to the question again. You're going to write the answers on your own notebook paper, so please make sure that you have a piece of paper to write on. All right? We're going to start by putting your name on the top of your paper. So if you would, on the left-hand side of your paper, please put your first and your last name. Underneath your name, I need you to put your subject, whether it is Texas history or American history, and then your class period number, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, or 8. On the right, top side of your paper, I need you to put Mrs. Howard, and then underneath Mrs. Howard, I need you to write today's date. Now, in the top center, I need you to write the title of our quiz. The title is Quiz Procedures. Now, number your paper from 1 to 10. Skip about three lines in between each number because you are going to have to write incomplete sentences and you'll need room for this. Now, again, pause the video if you need more time. Number one, please complete this sentence. On my blank tardy, I will be written up. On my blank tardy, I will be written up. The correct answer was fifth, so you should have filled fifth in the blank. Now, the first one is your given, so that you understand how to do it. Now, let's move on to number two. Number two, you can find missing work in the blank blank. Number two, you can find missing work in the blank blank. Please make sure that you're writing the entire sentence and filling in the missing words. Again. Number two, you can find missing work in the blank blank. Number three is an opinion question, so there is no wrong or right. Number three, please begin your sentence by saying, What I like most about history is, What I like most about history is, Remember, you cannot get number three wrong, so just try your very best. Sorry, guys, the lights went off, so I'm trying to get them to come back on. Right. I'm back. Okay, number four. Number four. For every day my paper is late, blank points are taken off. Number four. For every day my paper is late, blank points are taken off. Number five, Mrs. Howard is a blank, blank teacher. So what teaching strategy do I use? It has something to do with what's in here. Okay, the whole thing. So number five again, Mrs. Howard is a blank, blank teacher. Number six, one thing I would change about this class is, number six is also an opinion question, so there is no wrong or right answer. Number six again, one thing I would change about this class is, number seven, all materials are due by blank. So what day of the week? And if you put the date, the month, and the day, I will give you five points of extra credit. So again, 
All materials are due by blank. So tell me the day of the week, and if you can, the month and the date. You will get extra credit for the month and the date. Number eight, the person that sits next to me is called my blank blank. The person that sits next to me is called my blank blank. <clears throat> Excuse me. Number nine, the person that sits at the big desk that normally is for the teacher. The person that sits at the big desk is called the blank blank. Number nine, the person that sits at the big desk is called the blank blank. And then finally, number 10, the piece of paper that I record my grades on is called a blank, blank sheet. The piece of paper that I record my grades on is called a blank, blank sheet. Number 10, the piece of paper that I record my grades on is called the blank, blank sheet. All right, please finish up your answers. When you're done, I need you to come back into the classroom and put your paper in the basket. Please make sure that you have your name and that you've answered all the questions in complete sentences. And feel free to ask me any questions before you turn it in. Once you turn it into the basket, it will be ready, though, for me to grade. So please ask any questions that you have before you turn it in. Thank you, and I hope you did well.